Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. On the last episode... Man, I am so forgetful. I don't remember what we did. Alright, I think we battled Sabrina. And got Surf. Well, Sea Skim. And Strength, well, Strong Push. <laughs> And now, um, well, I went and I've, I surfed over to Cinnabar Island because I wanted to go to see something foam islands because Ice Beam was there. Oh, yeah, no, we ran into Zapdos in the last episode, didn't we? I told you, I, I don't remember well. But if you guys played the original games, you know that gym is locked. So you have to go here to find the key. Get rid of all the giant rats. And Magmars though. Try to catch the Magmar. Uh, whoa. Broke out of it so fast. I don't like that. That's as annoying as a random encounter. Wait, do I even have a coughing yet? I don't think I do. You see, I've gotten better at throwing the Pokeball from when we first started. Jesus. I just wish they would stop doing that. I hate when he does that. Because there's a delay when you throw the ball. There's a delay when you throw it. And during that delay period after you've swung the controller, they move. <laughs> and they do that quite a lot. Question is, am I gonna be able to find Ditto here? <clears throat> I hate when they spawn dead in front of me. Like you should never make a Pokemon spawn in right in front of somebody. They should have programmed for that. That's annoying. I know the statues. That was my fault. I was trying to go down, but I didn't do it fast enough. Still, though, you shouldn't have spawned in front of me. Like, next to me, on the side, just not right in front of my face. <laughs> Oh, 
Jesus, there's like almost nothing but coffins here right now. Didn't that switch use to lock something right upstairs? All oh, right, the burglars. I forgot about them. I'm trying to pillage the old mansion. <laughs> really? Really, guys? This is what we're doing? I can't get out. This whole place is one big puzzle. It's actually not that hard. All you had to do was walk forward and go down the stairs. You're just an idiot. How did you get in here in the first place? You know they leave it unlocked for a reason? There's nothing here to steal. I didn't realize I had Ultion in front. No. <laughs> I thought. Magmar is going. He is running. Actually, I needed to see if there was something in this room. Doesn't seem like it. That's what I mean. Oh dear, I thought you were a burglar, but you're a kid trainer. Well, do you want to have some fun with a coach trainer? How much do I think my Jodi I can handle? Yeah, this, this is a terrible matchup. I hope we can send these to the next game. I would love to have my be able to see my team with me. I went through Seafoam Islands for Ice Beam just for Vaporeon. <laughs> now I need one more thing. I might be able to just keep what I have. I got Shadow Ball. Oh, I mean, I didn't even click that, but I'm going to go ahead and switch back to Jolty Young, man. I would have loved to have it get a bit acid armor, but I can't. Because it wasn't a low enough level when I caught Eevee. And I need something else for, uh... And Jolteon, usually we have like pin missile or something. Because Dig doesn't do much. I'm not a big fan of Dig. Battling with you, so much fun. Here's a present just for you. Oh, is that the move that you would have been using during this battle? <laughs> I 
Yep, Brandon also can make an opponent flinch. I think it was a 20 or 30% chance. Of course, Noodle Queen is the only one that can learn it. Do I even want to teach it to her? Judging by what I have now, it's not worth it. Wait a minute. Yeah, it stayed 75. Uh, I don't know why I bothered raising the PV of this move, seeing how I'm just going to replace it with, like, um, <laughs> Earthquake. Yeah, nah, she has really good coverage. I don't think I want to change anything. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody could learn bulk up. That's what I was surprised about. I thought for sure uh, Flareon and Nino Queen should be able to learn it. I was so disappointed. I had to spend money on that. It doesn't make sense they can't learn it. Coffin, can you get out of the way? I should run into you just to despawn you. We discovered a new Pokemon deep in the jungle. That's it. That's all you had to say. D Ditto! Alright, I don't mind if you spawn dead in front of me. But don't be a... Ugh. He doesn't want to jump back to the center, is what I'm saying. Alright, fine. No. I'm pretty sure in the original game, Ditto was also found on the route near Fuchsia City to the right. Okay, there's that door. Then I think there was, uh, yeah, this door. Then there's the stairs.
And then there's a staircase there. And here. This is where it starts to turn into a puzzle. I hate when they do that so much. He's guarding his item. I need to think he's smart. So this place is, like, huge. And abandoned. Oh man, he survived. I mean, I guess it does make sense. Mug has really good defense, but Jolteon is not an attack based Pokemon. A special attack. All these dittos. I don't want to catch any more. Yet. Hold up. If I'm if there is a master trainer for every Pokemon, wouldn't that mean there's a master trainer for Ditto? How exactly is that supposed to work? Ditto only knows transform. And you can transform into a transform ditto. Into a transform. It just doesn't work. I just wonder why this guy had this stuff in his house. Because you know he had this in his house. This was a house. Somebody lived here with these switches. They didn't put these in after. Ooh, foul play. I hate when they do that. They go right towards the, the entrance or the exit. And I'm like, get out of the way. I can't cross a gap because two books are in my way. I hate that so much. Get out of my way. It's fun. This stupid little rat that in my face. Yeah, I saw it too. What are you doing here? My mentor was lived here.
I mean, I could have switched. But I don't feel like I really need to. my way to one of the other sides. There's the ladder. Ooh. I knew it. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Yeah, you're right. You shouldn't be here either. Oh, Firestone. Why is there a war Why are you here? Hey, do you know? If you step on that panel, you can go back to the entrance. Oh. You're literally there to tell me that. I actually... I'm actually thankful for that, because if I had stepped on that panel, I would have been pretty mad. But why is it that there's a little kid there? It would have made sense if it was more like the scientist was there. Okay, this area. Yeah, the key should be down here. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, that makes me question, should I change into the Queen's move? Unless somebody else can learn it. But I'm pretty sure it's probably only Nidal Queen. If Nidal Queen can't learn it, that's surprising. Yeah, it's just Nidal Queen. It would be a stab based move. It would be. It would get that stab bonus. It's just. It's such. I have such a good type coverage. I think except Dragon. Because only, I think Dragon is only strong against Dragon. Hmm. What? My, my Joy-Con turned off. I wish Sludge Bomb had 15 instead of 10, though.
Uh oh, where am I now? I love how all the burglars in here are just idiots. that I would switch my uh, Jolteon. You know, I haven't found many bug types in this one. I knew he was gonna have a weasel. Even though it made the same fate as the coughings. Did I just see? Oh, wheezing. I was like, what? This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space. Whose lecture type is stronger? Mine. You wish. You can't hear anything under this concrete? What? What was that for? You attacked me, bro. I get here. I can get more research done if I live here. Please don't live here. Night is on guard duty. I think that was where they started working on Mewtwo. A container made out of thick glass. It looks as if something has been beating on it over and over from the inside. So they make trainers go through this whole thing 
They're not very secretive about their project. You have the trainers come through here to get that key. Pretty sure, yeah. There's still another path I need to go to. You tried. You're gonna help me get stronger. I don't think I am, actually. Bad idea, bad choice. No, I'll give you tips. Next time, don't throw King out first. Or learn to switch Pokemon when you see a Type Master up is just bad for you, like really bad. It's funny how the nose is twitching in his anger. Can this be real? It is. I couldn't be Blaine, so I've been training here. I see. <laughs> I didn't even tell my, my character to go down. That was longer than I thought it would be, actually. Alright, though. Blaine is a fire-type gym leader. So you know we got Vaporeon to cover that. And then if Vaporeon somehow goes down, we have uh, Nido, Nido Queen with her troll run. And we have Jotian with Dig. So basically, we should not lose this gym battle, and if we do, oh my gosh, we just need to give up on Pokemon forever. I'm pretty sure Flareon also has Dig. Yeah. As well as Eevee just being overpowered. Tells you've been a great a uh, great company, but let's um let's let uh Vaporeon out for a while. Oh come on! Yo, champ in the making. This gym is... Here we go, first question. Wait, Mr. Blaine, it's not your turn yet. 
Oh, that's right. Now, the old man you just saw there was Gym Leader Blaine. He's a fire type Pokemon pro. You did well finding the secret key to get in here, so I think you're ready to take on this gym. As you might have guessed, you have to take on a quiz at this gym, as well as battles. Try to have a good time. Wow, how straightforward are we? What do you say? You ready to start? No need to be shy, then step right up. <clears throat> oh, wow. Here we go. This is Cinema Island Gym Pokemon Quiz. Challengers get asked five questions that they have to answer. You get one right, and you get a Blaine doll. You get a question wrong, and you have to start. You have to battle one of my students here. But if you manage to beat them, then don't worry. You still get a Blaine doll. Think you can collect five Blaine dolls? Oh my gosh. First question. Magmar. You're absolutely correct. Congrats. He's such a he's such a character. We love Blaine. A lot of people love Blaine. Congratulations, you won a Blaine doll. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's move on to the second question. I wish I could still battle though. How many gym batters certified? How many gym badges certified by the Pokemon League are there? Eat. You are absolutely correct. Congrats. Congratulations. You've won a Blaine doll. We're not done yet. The second question. Hold on, Mr. Blaine. This is the third question. The third question. Quiz time. A steel type move used on a fire type Pokemon will be not very effective. Tell us giving her response, and the final judgment is... You're absolutely correct! <laughs> Congrats! Oh, when he pops up from the side. You've won a Blaine doll! The challenger has assembled three Blaine dolls. On to the fourth question. Quiz time. True or false? Team 28 contains the move. Tombstoney. False. You are absolutely correct. There is, there's no move called Tombstoney. Seems that challenger has collected four Blaine dolls. Time for the last question. Give it your all. Final question. Challenger cold, coded. Tell me, who are you about to battle? <laughs> An old guy in sunglasses. I don't think you can get this one wrong. <laughs> I wish I could stop the video here and let you choose one. Oh, it's okay. Which one? The Cinema Island Gym Leader, Blaine. Hey, Pokemon Pro. A hot hey, quiz master. A mustached old man and an old guy in sunglasses. <laughs> I'm going for that. You are absolutely correct. He was like, <gasps> Challenger, you have attained five Blaine dolls. Which means it's time for our battle. I'm Blaine, the red hot gym leader here. My fiery Pokemon are rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha, <laughs> I hope you brought some burn heals. Won't eat it, you can't burn water to that Pokemon. Look at the fire in his eyes. Alright, Vaporeon, you're up. Hit him with a scald. Arcanine. 
But again, hit him with a Scald. But not planning on using extreme speed. just because we can. And you missed! You must not like winning. down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned a volcano badge. You got a volcano badge from Blaine. Here, you can have the steam too. Fire Blast. I'm not a fan of Fire Blast, but... TM46 contains Fire Blast. A red hot fire type move. I love the symbol. Teach you to a fire type Pokemon. Vulpix or Charmeleon would be ideal. Fire Blast is an attack to be shown the ultimate, the utmost respect. Don't waste it on a water type Pokemon. You can't teach it. Eevee looks exhausted from how nervous it was. Seems like it can still go on somehow. Ah, so this is where you were. I thought you might have made your way to Cinnabar Island by now. Did you really beat Blaine? Blaine? Really? Congratulations. Y you need to have eight gym badges to get into the Pokemon League, right? I got seven already, which means that the only one left is... Yeah, it must be the gym in Viridian City, right? It was closest up last time I checked, though. Have you been to Viridian City Gym yet? You haven't, right? I guess I'll try stopping by Viridian City one more time. I mean, if you're surfing there, I should beat you. Vaporeon should be good in this gym, too, honestly. Because I'm pretty sure the Viridian City Gym specialized in ground-type Pokemon. Except it was more wide. It was actually one of the more varied gym in the um, in the first game. Huh? Why is the door locked? Open sesame! Yeah, I guess that isn't gonna work. Man. Oh, hey, Cody. Sheesh, say something if you're standing there. Watching me act all embarrassing like that. Well, never mind that. So how many gym badges you got these days? S seven? Then it looks like we're even. All that's left now is the Virginia City Gym. Same for you, right? But the place is never open. I guess we gotta tell someone that we haven't been able to get into the gym. But who should we talk to? What? Me? I don't know about a thing like that. 
Of course you wouldn't. Sorry about that. We'll think ourselves over. I'm gonna talk to Evie. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Makes sense. If I could understand anything you said, this is getting us nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Let's go see if he knows anything. Oh, if it isn't coated in blue. You two are both looking a lot more grown up than the last time I saw you. And you have impeccable timing as usual. Let me introduce you. This is my grandson. Uh, what was his name now? Gramps, no one ever laughs at that joke. Would you give it a break? And besides, we've already met. Your own grandson. You're no fun. Yeah, yeah, sure, Gramps. More important than that, though. Cody Blue, you two did awesome. Huh? With Team Rocket. I never thought that their boss would actually be holed up there at Sofco. Two of you managed to take him down. No, it wasn't me. Could it be Giovanni by herself? All I did was help out of it. So what? You and your Pokemon did your best too, right, Blue? So, I've got a little something for you too. As a reward for your hard work. Key keystone. Oh. Uh, oh, is that a keystone? The stone that can trigger an evolution that transcends all other evolutions? Mega evolution? Mega Evolution? What's that? If you both have a Keystone and the right Mega Stone, you can make a Pokemon Mega Evolve in battle. Just once per battle, though. Your Pokemon will get all powered up to battle hard for you. Mega Evolution is proof of a strong bond between a Pokemon and its trainer. A brief poem, if I may. When two stones are held, when two hearts become as one, we Mega Evolve. Ow! The two of you should be able to use these well. These are Mega Stones. Well. You're going to take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Give these a try when you do. I'm, I'm not. I don't have those Pokemon. You two are so close to Pokemon League now. Just one last push. Oh, but what are you even doing back here in Palatown? What? Meridian City's gym leader is never at the gym? Huh, that's odd. Maybe I'll go take a look for myself. Man, if they were to use a thing like that, they'd have been an even bigger pain. I'm not worried. Hmm? What's up, BB? Oh, if it isn't Eevee. You want to know what I'm doing? I'm picking flowers. I'm going to make a bouquet for someone very important. But it's a secret. You won't tell anyone, right, Coded? Oh, that's right. Uh, the, Meridian the Meridian City gym leader came back to the gym at last. That's what people are saying. You should head off to Meridian City. Why, thank you. Alright. We'll take on this gym in the next episode. But for now, that is all the time we have for this episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. If you liked this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.